Friday morning looking great, yeah. nice and comfortable and calm out there. And Perfect tomorrow, for you to head down there, right? Yeah, I'm going down. I'll, I'll head down there. You get Annalise and you get Doug if you're going to be Ooh, there. Double yeah. bonus. Yeah, you might make it on TV <laughs> in the morning hours as well, there, Doug. Uh, tomorrow morning, it's going to be a different story. Some of the bus stops possibly seeing some rain around. Right now, looking at the high resolution radar, not a whole lot happening for us. The radar is in the most sensitive mode, so really not a whole lot going on. But we did see in some spots today anywhere between a tenth of an inch to almost two and a half inches estimated by our radar. So we're seeing the rain continuing uh, to make its way down to the south, so really died off for tonight. But watch the wind shifts with the clouds through the day today. You can see as we had those different outflow boundaries going on, the frontal boundary sliding down to the south, the clouds were kind of moving around the sky. Then we saw some clearing of those clouds late in the afternoon into the evening hours. And at DFW today, we only saw about three tenths of an inch of rain. And since June 1st, it's been a pretty dry summer. We've only seen a little bit more than six inches of rain. We're down by 1.3. So we could use some more. I want to spread it out just a little bit, but take a look at Jacksboro today, seeing three inches. Valley View seeing 1.99, and Granbury about 1.62. So some areas a lot of rain, other areas not so much. And well, the rain also helped cool us down as the cold front slid through. We're seeing temperatures now mid 70s in Fort Worth to 79 in Dallas, 78 in DFW with our winds out of the north to the North Northwest, so feeling pretty nice compared to yesterday. Our temperatures by this time were already cooling down from the triple digits, but we're still about 19, almost 25 degrees colder than this time last night. Our temperatures are sitting in the low 70s in Gainesville, 71 in Bowie to 70 in Stephenville, 78 in Terrell. So tomorrow we have rain in the forecast again. Morning hours around a 50% chance. Then into the afternoon, some peaks of sunshine. We'll make it up to maybe 87 degrees. Uh, you'll be able to see that we're going to see this frontal boundary. Slide its way down to the south. Newest information coming in with the latest forecast models. Still showing some scattered showers around. A lot of the activity might be west of the Metroplex, but still the potential is there. And have the umbrella with you into the afternoon hours. Some isolated showers and storms sticking around. Then after that, we start to dry out. Tropical Storm Dorian continue to make its way to the northwest at 13. Tropical Storm warnings continuing for Puerto Rico. Tomorrow seeing it as a tropical storm. And then some changes for tonight out over the open water northeast of the Bahamas, possibly getting strength and getting closer towards the east coast of Florida by the weekend as a Category 1 hurricane. So we'll watch that as we go through the next couple of days. If you have travel plans there for the holiday, staying closer towards home, we're going to be in the low to the mid-90s, drying out. Lots of sunshine for Labor Day. Highs right in the mid-90s.